All right. All right. We're getting to our interview of the evening. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? It's an exciting one today, man. Like, uh, you know what? Like, I'm in here at the Youngsterdam Lounge here, right? Um, I, I work here, you know, during the daytime and shit, too. And a lot of people come in here and they drop shit on the YouTube. They're, like, putting on bare Toronto people. And I seen a man putting on this gentleman's video that, that, that we have here today. And he's like, yo, you don't know about this guy here? Yo, this shit is fucking sick, fam. And the thing is, I've seen videos before. But when I start seeing just random people, people who I don't know personally, say, yo, you need to check this guy out. That's when I'm like, yo. Yeah, the word of the mouth is traveling. Facts. Exactly, yeah. And immediately after that conversation, I sent that DM to you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I exactly. Remember that. I remember that. that. That I was having a conversation with a gentleman, and he was telling me, "Yo, you need to get this motherfucker on the show." And I was, I didn't even tell him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I just went into my well, DMs. Shout out, shout out, whoever did that. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Shout out, yeah. whoever did that. But you know what I think? Also, people do too, knowing that you work here, mm. they come here like to obviously see you, and then be like, you know what? Let me just play this guy because it could be one of your brethren. Who knows? Like, one hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. Just come right? down here and like. Yeah, that's a good brethren though <laughs> yeah, for sure <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen to me you that's always have that brethren. one brethren that's facts. just you know he's mm -hmm. always promoting your shit facts for facts sure. well with no further ado the gentleman that we do have in the building here we got road runner in the motherfucking building and I don't know if I could pull through I'm on a ground right now trapping seven days of the week you better Yep, yeah, yes, man. And he got he got he brought guests with him as well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Big shout to an old friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? Big yeah. up to El Nino in the motherfucking building. Yeah, Best cameraman in the city, man. Hey. Yeah, he's rocking this. Ah. Hey. And we have. We have Randy right here. That's my dog. You know, right. really, you know, from the sandbox. You know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sandbox. okay. So, let's just get right into it. 2019. What's your biggest highlight? What's the the best thing that you feel that's happened to you for this year to be honest i started like mind you not i started dropping music in 2019 like i was dropping mm. shit back in 2016 i had some personal issues i had to stop rapping you know okay sure. and then 2019 like i see all these guys popping off like people are dropping music mm -hmm. like, you know toronto's in the spotlight everybody's <laughs> dropping music they're getting they're doing their numbers and shit yeah. so i just tested the waters you know i just dropped a little video and then i ended up doing some numbers and then Take that stainless, shoot a fuck nigga, he brainless Real nigga, I'm really with it, fuck this rap shit Man, I really live it, you can keep the bitch my, it wasn't even me, it was my crotties They just kept pushing me, they're like, yo, you gotta drop music You mm -hmm. gotta drop music, so I dropped my second video, PTSD Okay, big two. And um, Six Buzz got a hold of it he put it on his channel and then after that I was just like I'm I'm doing numbers right so I'm like might as well take this serious right why mm. not who knows where it goes right yeah so I just started like it's been seven months and I dropped like five videos I think I have five videos out so far you know yeah in a seven months span you dropped five videos yeah that's yeah. good you know that's that's a question that I actually had here on the sheet like when did you start because I'm only seeing five videos on the youtube yeah you know what i'm saying so i was gonna be like I, I was, when did you start i was rapping back in 2016 i was uh, like basically okay. i was just dropping music on soundcloud i wasn't on youtube yet right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i had a I, I dropped like i had a video up for like a week and then like i said personal issue so i had to take it down you know was it um the same name were you always no on the no, road no no i wasn't it wasn't i started okay. off and i first started when i first started dropping music i was two phones Okay. That was my SoundCloud name. It was two phones. Oh, okay. That's and a then, name. Yeah, it was two phones, and then I stopped rapping for like two years, and then come 2019, you know, I got back on my shit, and I'm like, let me just try a thing, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. What do you feel is the difference between the way that you rap back then to where you rap now, like from 2016 to 2019? To be honest, right now I'm diverse with my shit, like my mm. flow, like I'm trying to like work on my flow and shit. You know, back then it was just straight drill. Yeah. That's all I was dropping, like straight drill music, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's more like melodics with drill. I, like I try switching it up a little bit, you know, like here and there. I have like never again. <laughs> there's drill and melodic at the same time you know like mm -hmm. i'm trying to be more versatile with my music right yeah, yeah, yeah. how you make the switch from two phones to road, road runner two phones to road runner road runner was one of my like 
one of the older guys his 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 name was road runner uh-huh. and um i won't say no names right now you know but um his name was road runner and my name was road runner at the time too on instagram right okay and then he ended up something happened he ended up going away you know so i ended up just running with it you know <coughs> i didn't think too much it's just the first thing that came to my mind like i was dropping my first video and i'm like what should i name it you know yeah yeah and i was yeah. like road runner it was my instagram name so i'm like it's road runner you know okay i just ran along with it did you you know what let's stay on it's the original name, name. yeah I like it i like how i like how you know yeah it's exactly. like oh road runner okay let's see what you know yeah and a lot of people started telling me about something about a show but i've never watched no show with road runner and then, you know yeah i never oh, watched it you know i never watched it yeah yeah so yeah that's an old shit yeah exactly but you know what to stay on the name for a quick second there was a next thing a next guy i see on youtube guy exactly. from south carolina exactly i you watched it i watched it did he ever get at you never never mm. never talked to him i just saw but now see i'm going from road runner like my last three videos i've used road runner okay i haven't used road runner like my last three videos has been road runner so yeah. i'm probably gonna stick to that you know well you're waving up bro so he will probably hit you up eventually and be well, like yeah that's my name i'll tell him Psh. <laughs> that way <laughs> <laughs> that way yeah. so okay let's let's go back um thorncliffe um, yeah. Thorncliffe Park, right? Exactly. That, that's that's the the hood that so I grew repping. up. You know, that's where we're all from. Me, this guy, like in the back. You know, yeah. where we grew up, right? So, what's what was life like growing up over there? To be honest, it's 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 a, it's like we're all immigrants, right? We all immigrated like from different countries, like third world countries, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, it's 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 just an area full of like it's like an immigrant hub. You feel me? Like yeah. it's where everyone who moves from third world countries that's there that's like that's where they move you feel me mm-hmm. so growing up was rough right because i come from a family of five my dad's working you know and um it's hard you know you feel yeah. me like you're living out in a, you're living out of an apartment and shit mm-hmm. it gets hard you know so where did your parents immigrate from pakistan i'm from pakistan okay oh, okay yeah, i'm from pakistan wow wow yeah. wow that's crazy because you're like super light super light i know yeah, man. his voice you see mm-hmm. the comments on my youtube videos and it's like yo this white guy this white guy but mm-hmm. they don't know i'm not white you know wow yeah that's very interesting that opens up a whole other can of worms yeah. you know what i'm saying because like in pakistan in pakistan there's a whole caste system over there there is you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and the lighter you are the higher like you get to go up the ladder in, in society over exactly. there exactly so did you guys like was your parents are your parents super light too my parents they're they're all right they're they're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like i have a brother i have a brother shout out grizzly you know free grizzly mm-hmm. shout out free real grizzly. nigga you know mm-hmm. shout out grizzly that's my blood brother okay if you see him He's brown skin, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But then all my other siblings, they're super white. So it's like, fuck, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, because like, it's it's like a whole dynamic. Like that's so, there's like movies on it and everything. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. I know, I know, I know. That cast shit, that runs deep back where I'm from, right? Yeah, yeah. That shit runs deep. That's, that's, that's very interesting, yeah. man. So, even like, um... Wow, uh, it's, you just blew my mind right yeah, there with crazy. that, you know what I'm saying? Okay, there's a track there, the PTSD that you mentioned earlier, yeah. right? Um, and even when the whole upbringing and stuff like that, like, to tie everything together, there's a lyric that you said. Or it's like in the hook, you said, Barry, um, Barry lost my mom in the streets, that shit changed me, right? So like, do you lost your mom? No, 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 no. I said I don't really lost my mind to the streets that oh, really changed me. Thank you. Yeah, I should have put the lyrics. I should have put the lyrics. No, because you're yeah. rapping fast on it. You yeah, know yeah, yeah, So yeah. I didn't I catch that. Should, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Yeah. All right. No, no. I had a whole like thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Okay. More lyrical stuff. You know what I mean? On the lyrical breakdown. Free smoke. Right. Okay. Said caught the case. Didn't do the race. Did my time. Um, um right next to me stack my bread no sesame i caught a case i ain't do the race bitch i did my time i caught a felony why these niggas keep testing me and i did my time i caught a felony right yeah how long were you away for to be honest i wasn't away for too long you know four months i was i was up in Lindsay for four months nothing serious you know Mm -hmm. 
Um, I did my bit there for months, you know. I got to meet a lot of a lot of real niggas, you know, yeah. that I still talk to to this day. Like some of my best friends that I still rock with, I met in jail. You feel me? Four months, not a long time, but you get to meet some real people, right? You feel me? You're living with someone for four months every day. You know, you're gonna get to know them eventually, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, what made you refocus? Besides, like you know, what you told us before with your yeah. with your brethren and stuff, like. Yeah. Um, trying to encourage you to get back exactly. into music i know with me and a lot of people like you can't do something unless you want to do it yourself exactly all right so what made you decide okay i'm gonna get back into this music shit honestly my my plan was if i drop free smoke and i get good reviews and people start rocking with it i'm mm -hmm. gonna drop more music that was my plan i said because when i was dropping music back in 2016 i wasn't getting views you feel me i was only getting like a 1k 2k you know i was, yeah, doing, yeah, I was yeah. doing my little thing you know like it was only people from my hood when i when, when i started figuring out that people in the city are bumping it like i was in traffic one day mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. i was by mccowan i'm in traffic and like i looked to my left and somebody's like yo roadrunner that's you and I'm like, holy shit, like, people are starting to recognize me now and shit, right? So mm. I'm like, I gotta take it more serious, you know? Why not? Yeah, yeah. You feel me? It was the views, to be honest. It was just the numbers. I, I, the I, I told myself, if I do the numbers, I'm just gonna keep going, you know? Yeah. If I don't do the numbers, then fuck, I'm just gonna let it be. Well, I, f I, I, I think that's, that's a good thing to keep yeah. going, man. And at the same time, don't be a slave to the numbers neither. Oh, 100%. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Just, just make good shit. Some shit might not fucking do as much as the last thing, exactly. but it doesn't mean it's not as dope. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, anything? Huh? I want to ask you a question yeah. on the word, the N word. Yeah. Like, you use it in your music a lot. You use it twice right now. Like, what makes, like, why? Like, why is it pro? Like, I don't understand. Like, for me, like, it's cool. Like, I don't, but I yeah. don't, I'm trying not to use it. You understand what I'm saying? I try not using it either, but it's just where i grew up like that's just the way we grew up you know you feel me like that's like that's just how i grew up you know like we've been saying it to each i try not saying it either to be honest ever since people started telling me like i started reading more comments about it i tried not using it in my music like if you see it never again mm -hmm. i tried not using it as much but i'm working on it you know things take time you feel me no no for sure for yeah. sure mm -hmm. i just it's just something that we need to stop using oh, 100%, in general 110%. you know what i'm saying like even when we're talking to our brethren our friends we need to stop no, 110 you know I mean? like, yeah yeah and i'm not trying to be rude or disrespectful in any way no 110 percent, buddy i just you understand like no it's yeah. a, it's a it's definitely a conversation that's going on in hip-hop all the time yeah just like um, the same with with like the drugs like lean Mer molly percocet yeah, shit like yeah. that you understand what i'm saying like i don't want people to i want people to stop promoting that shit too oh, you understand what i'm saying and ten percent yeah. buddy yeah. what we were saying earlier we're talking about mm -hmm. like yo when our kids get older mm -hmm. you know you might have heard me yeah like the music we're going to be listening to as older older yeah, people yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean and it's like fuck really do we really want to hear that yeah 100 percent. classics man, yeah but yeah, yeah. Um, There's a lot of bad habits, right? You just yeah. gotta, you, you gotta work on that shit, right? Oh, you definitely. I think mean? we're all works in progress, definitely. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Um, question I have for for you, Nino. Yeah. Director. Yeah. yeah Shooter. Yeah. You didn't yeah. start at that. You started back in the days when I met you, and you were you were spitting. You were with a spit. I was spitting a little bit, but it wasn't serious, bro. Like, yeah, yeah look at you. Like, I know your fate. Like, I nah, feel like it's a minute, bro. Like, I did it for a little, bit. just cause I was, I like shout out Sazy. Mm -hmm. But at that time, that's who I was. Sazy, like. Sazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So back in the day, I'm older. I'm older. Like, I'm 30, bro. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, like, okay. I, I was running with like, shit. The generation when Drake started. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Bring your mic a little bit closer there. Sorry, brother. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. But yeah. About that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, when yeah. that's when we that's when I started getting into it. And then I ended up just picking up a camera and I liked it a lot better. Okay. Like the other side of the lens. Yeah, yeah, I don't like yeah. being in front of the camera. Yeah, I can smoke on. a bogey here or it's on the uh, side. No bogey. No bogey. He's unfortunate. He's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're that's vaping. So about it. Unless you're vaping, no, 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 that's, that's not recommended. No, no, for sure, no, for sure. If you want, you can light up one of these spliffs. Yeah, hundred. Nah, I'm okay. I don't ball up stuff. Oh, you don't smoke yeah, weed. Nah, I don't smoke weed. Yeah, I don't hey. smoke weed. Power to you, my friend. Yeah. Like I said, you want to light one of these? You can light one. How, how, how did y'all link up? Yo. So uh, to be yeah, honest, yeah. I had I had some shit out, and um, respect. He, he, no problem. He, he he was always supporting from the get go. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. I had some shit out. I think it was um, 
Aftermath. I think it was Aftermath. I, I shot it with New Wave. Okay. okay. Shot a New Wave, you know? That's Crody and shit. Mm -hmm. I shot it with New Wave and then I had a preview of for Guns to Guitar. Going crazy, shooting guns and pushing keys. Demons dancing in my head. I lost my broski. To the streets, you help me out. Then I lost my broski. And this guy hollered at me. He's like, "Yo, fam, that shit is guitars. hot," you know. Yeah, let's see. I I ran I ran across it, and I was like, "Yo, this shit's nice." Yeah. You know, like I like to find people right in the mist before they blow. Yeah. And if yeah, I really yeah. like them, like, yo, I, I hit them up, and I'm like, "Yo, that shit is fire." So how long have you guys been working together? Since uh, since, since Guns to Guitar. Since Guns to Guitar, it's probably been like four months but i plan on doing all my videos with him you feel me like so out of the what'd you say you dropped on um, five videos five which one was that guitar was guns and guitars was which one was like the second or third 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 one third, okay yeah, third. Mm. yeah i like the free smoke video you like the free smoke i like the free smoke video oh, yeah. I, I like that one i like that that's one. my least favorite to be honest <laughs> i don't know i like that one i, I, <laughs> I, like like the the I feel like we're just jumping around and being retarded you know yeah, well, it's know. free smoke you like yeah. what is it like <laughs> what you, that was yeah. a raw video like that was like super raw you feel me we just linked up or like let's shoot this video you know mm. that's how the best shit i still happens don't sometimes. like how the cameraman did his job <laughs> you feel me but that's another story but that's so, how you yeah. that's how you that's how yeah. you improve your own craft your exactly your, 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 your you know you critique yourself exactly. like you know yeah. what this cameraman's not the greatest i'm gonna find another cameraman hence you have mm, now you yeah. have your personal cameraman yeah. right? and he's not he's more he's, he's, he's like my friend now you feel yeah, me? he's well, more than cameraman now friendship yeah. right yeah, exactly the yeah. chemistry has to be there like right? we shot never again we shot never again dope track on sunday mm. the same night he finished it for me you know like he had it we were, we're chopping it up right there that's i just good. stayed there i was like yeah i just fuck it i'm like let's chop it up and that's then good. six buzz hits us up out of nowhere yeah and we're like, okay, drop it tomorrow on six. But I'm like, all right, cool. That's okay. dope. So that's, that's, okay. That's let's let's dope. stop there for a quick second. Because this is the second time that six buzz, has, you guys mentioned six buzz hitting y'all up. They're not hitting up everybody and saying, yo, forward with your video, dog. No. Shout out six buzz. He's yeah, real. Yeah. I rock with six buzz. Yeah, you know? yeah. I fuck yeah. with six buzz. Yeah. We I rock, fuck I rock with six buzz. Yeah. He doesn't have to do half the things he does for the city. You feel me? He's yeah. got a big, they got a big platform. Yeah, yeah, but he Friday can... thinks he knows who he is. Tried to out him on our show, but I don't think no, that was fuck, him. I don't even know. I went to the six buzz mix, <laughs> mixtape, really. And there's so much people. I'm like, which one of these motherfuckers? <laughs> <laughs> like, who I, is one my old One of my friends, one of my friends, he was at a, he was at a party and he saw him, right? And um, if you guys really want to know what he looks like, I can I can get him. <laughs> 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 the guy from spoken. We've spoken on the phone. We've, like we're cool. Okay. I, and I've you met don't other know. representatives. You just don't know who he uh, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stay, is it like is but, it supposed to stay a secret? Is it supposed I, I, I to be a know. secret? But the thing I Seems want to like know <laughs> is yeah, it does. how do you, why do you think that they keep on hitting you all up? To be honest. I feel like he just rocks with the movement, right? I feel like he just likes the music, he rocks with the movement, right? Because mm -hmm. there's no other explanation to why he would actually do it for me if he didn't like the music, right? Yeah, I feel yeah, like he just yeah. genuinely likes the music and that's why he's doing it, right? Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? No, that's, 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 no, a, that's it, a good it, look. It is a good look. Yeah. Yeah, man. What's your writing process? Because <laughs> you got a lot of yeah, flow, I know. man. I know. Am I right? Like how I write and shit? Yeah, like are you doing it off... Okay, bro. Is this it in this the sounds head? weird, but I don't even listen to a beat. Like, okay, I just write. Like I have a flow in my head, and then I'll just write. I'll st I'll, st I'll start taking voice notes. You feel me? Like I'll be driving, I'll take a voice note. Interesting. And then I'll go home, and then I'll have another voice note, and then I'll try putting it together, and then I'll try finding a beat that's that suits it best, and then okay. I'll just put it all together. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Once I have a, a hook, different form, once, once different yeah. approach. That's once different I have form. a hook. I'm in the studio because the hook's the most difficult part for me, you know? Mm -hmm. I'll do the hook and then I'll just get in the studio, get some time and just finish it off, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah some Toronto yeah. ambiance in the background. Yeah, 100%. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, yeah that's uh that's, that's a, a that's a diff that's yeah, it's, it's know, original. Man. It's an original format, right? You say you don't listen to a beat, you just make voice note bars and then you put them together. Together, yeah. That's dope. Yeah, exactly. That's dope. That's really dope. Yeah, man. Like I, 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 I really, I'm really digging what's going on with you, with, with 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 your styles, man. You know what I mean? Like even like all of the beats and things that you're picking, it's like a certain type, type of beat, right? It's a certain type of um, tempo. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yo, so do you have? I'm sorry, just, I'm just trying. Yeah. When he sends me tracks, mm -hmm. I never know what to expect because it's so different. 
So I'm excited to listen to it. So when he sends me some shit, I'm like, okay, I might be on the last vibe. Let me see. And it's like yeah. a whole different vibe. Like he's just good at being versatile. I, yeah, I try being. I try. I try not sounding like everybody in mm-hmm. the city because I feel like that's one advantage I have, right? I, yeah. Like I try not sounding like everybody because once you sound like everybody, like you yeah, can't you sell your own sound. Yeah, it's you original. Me? That's the best way. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Originality pays. Like you can follow the next man's sound, you'll get so far, but you only plateau at the end of time. Exactly. Are you working on like? Cause you got like five videos now, right? Is that all the songs you have, or you have no, more songs? No, I have a lot of shit in the vault right now. Like I have like four, five, not too too many, but I have like four or five. Like I could sit back and just drop videos if I really wanted to, right? But mm-hmm. I like dropping music that I know is top of the line. Like if I think. I don't even like it a little bit, I won't drop it, you feel me, until it's perfect, you know, that's just how I like dropping my music, right? Yeah. That's blunt. Man. Ooh, ooh. Because, like, you're really musical, you're not, you don't seem like one of these guys who are just like, yo, I'm just a street motherfucker and, you know, I just happen to yeah. rap trying to catch a lick, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. seem like you give a fuck about just the, oh, 100%. The, the art of it itself, 100%. right? 100%. So, who were you listening to that got you into music in the first place? I was gonna ask that. To be honest, I have, I have some, um, some older guys from my area right they mm-hmm. were dropping music i'm talking back in like 2001 you feel me and i okay. was little them times and them times looking up to these guys it was like yo these guys are dropping music they're dropping videos and shit and yeah. i'm looking at it like yo f- like you guys are, that's this. sick like yeah. you feel me like that's sick you know mm-hmm. so as i grew up i just started like i would like freestyle to my friends and shit like that and mm-hmm. then boom um one day i just ended up dropping something the the like my the, the people in my area started rocking with it mm. and then like i said again personal issues so i had to take everything down yeah. you feel me and then i got back into it right when the time's right because there's a time and place for everything right yeah you can't yeah. just do something when the time's not right yeah you feel me um even with with that what you're saying with the with people like around you and like you know other you know where you're hearing music from even in the household right you weren't hearing hip-hop in the household oh no 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 i never i never grew up listening to hip-hop like that see i came here when i was 11 so most of my childhood was back home you feel me so i never i never knew nothing about hip-hop back home you feel me Mm. when i came here i started listening to a 1250 cent you know okay um, biggie Pac, you know all that all that old school shit right yeah and then yeah that's that's really about it you mean so when you came here so like you that's came in the right time of hip hop exactly yeah. yeah it seems like you came when in the I, right I, don't, I think it was econ or something like that i came when when, when they had that smack that on uh, all on the floor track oh, you feel me <laughs> that was like that track when i came to canada you feel me <laughs> yeah. Yeah. blast that you that's know crazy. you feel me crazy. Yeah, that's crazy wow wow what was your first rhyme like huh your first rhyme to be honest, if I look back at it now, it's probably pretty shitty. <laughs> you mm-hmm. yeah, it was probably pretty shitty. You no bars in but there? I worked, I worked, like, mind you not, I worked on my shit a lot, you know, like, mm-hmm. I, I worked on my music a lot, you feel me? Like, people just see me dropping music. People don't see, like, how frustrating it is when you're sitting there trying to write bars, trying to, like, get your story out there, you feel me? Yeah, for it's, sure. It's difficult, you know? It's not easy, you know? People just think, oh, you just start rapping and you make a video. No, there's so much more to it, right? Yeah. There's a lot to it. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yo, Mino, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. As somebody who's seen the scene from, like, back in the days to now, did you think that the... Like, we're sitting here with, 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 with Runner, right? Yeah. And you're a hot Toronto rapper. Right, and we're on episode 151, and the only reason that we can have 151 episodes plus another program that puts up other interviews yeah. is because there's mad rappers that there's are coming out this country and city. Talent yeah, crazy, in this city that, that are on fire. Like we're not like interviewing people who only got like a couple of hundred views. Yeah. We're interviewing people who are bare views, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and there's yeah. just enough man them and yell them who yeah. do it. Yeah. Did you ever think that the scene would be this fucking hot? No. But I love the progression. I love like how much I love that young toys doing tours. Mm. You know, I love that like everybody has their own thing going on, mm-hmm. and it's the progression is crazy, and everybody's getting better. Like we have household names now. Yeah, you know what I mean. 
Oh, like, we have a bunch of household names. We have a lot of now. household names. Like, I'm proud of everything Pressa did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm proud of everybody right now. Like, I've worked with so many different artists, like, and I'm watching them all develop. Yeah. So it's like, it's amazing to do, like, see it and witness it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I ran across him. I'm like, this guy's going to blow. I ran into QP. She's going to blow. Mm. Like, you know, there's people that just, you're, I'm very proud of the progression. She's a rapper. She's an she's artist. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, not a rapper. An artist. She's an artist. But she raps, though. Two pieces sitting low key in the background. Yeah. So, so runner, you you bringing you're around a lot of different artistic people, man. Oh yeah, nice. To be honest, I met her through him. You feel yeah, me? Like that's okay. I, I found her on Instagram too, and I met her, and then like yo, you know, and the chemistry works, you know. So mm-hmm. it's just like we're all building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, question for both of y'all. Okay, and you, you know me, I used to be a rapper back in the day, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've seen a For one someone who's shit. retired, yeah, he yeah, brings I've seen it up a one, lot. two shits. You know, <laughs> on Spotify, you know what I'm saying? On iTunes. I've seen you do your thuggy back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm retired now, though. Yeah. I'm retired. You know what I'm saying? Content creator. You know, you know, content curator. Curator, but, sorry. You know, even as like, um, for what I was rapping, the shit that, you know, I was getting my gangster shit on, on on my rap shit right but we're all looking for a better a better life yeah, better sure. world in the end of the day 100 percent, right so bringing it towards our city the way, the way our city's been just a fucking fuck show just crazy yeah, yeah, you know crazy. what i'm saying over the last especially over the last two years yeah right what do y'all feel that we can do moving into 2020 so that we don't have a repeat of what's been going on over I the last few years I say I keep saying this over and over again. It's mm-hmm. the it's the drugs. You feel me? It's the drugs. People need to drop these drugs. Let go of these drugs. You feel me? It's the mm, it's the ma- it's the Mali. It's the perkies. It's the liquor. You feel me? Mm. When you're intoxicated, you're impaired. You feel me? You you're not thinking right. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So any decision you make while you're intoxicated <coughs> is basically it's not even you. It's not you who's doing it. You feel me? It's just no, you're right, Mike. It's just you're intoxicated, right? Yeah. And a lot of these guys, they're they're turned up all the time. You know? And fuck, people are making stupid decisions, man. You know? Mm. You know what I mean? People are throwing their lives away and shit. You know? Yeah. A lot of rappers too. You know? A lot of a lot of good shit they had going for themselves. You know? But fuck, people are throwing it away, man. Like you have the key to the city. You gotta hold on to it, right? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. I like yeah. where your mind's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the the more unique and and well said answers that we've gotten in a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, Nino, what do you think? Five. There's a lot to it, right? Mm-hmm. It's not as simple as just saying it. There's like, there's just so much. It's so deep rooted. It's right, so hard to like. Mic. Sorry, it's so hard to attack it exactly and make yeah. sure that there's progression. But as long as somebody's working on it, there's a chance to save a life or make someone change their mind. Or yeah. As long as someone's putting that positivity out there, there's a better chance. Yeah. Like if you're if you're from the streets, like your whole life. W- you want to get out of the streets you feel me that's mm-hmm. that should be your main goal you feel me the streets everybody knows the streets there's two places you'll end up in you either end up in jail or you end up dead you feel me mm-hmm. and it's been it's been it's a proven fact you feel me yeah yeah like guys who are in the streets like guys who i talked to who are in the streets their main goal right now is to get out of the streets you feel me yeah yep. and there's guys who are not in the streets who want to be street you know so it's just it's, it's a weird it's weird you feel me yeah it's super weird right like a kid in richmond hill who he, he'll he'll think oh fuck oh fuck being gangsters cool this that he doesn't know what that shit comes with right mm. you feel me i have friends that are dead you feel me like i can't see them again you know yeah. it's crazy i wish i could see them again i wish i could have told them to take a different path right yeah you yeah. feel me no 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 well said it's man. true though yeah man it's so true they don't know the cost <coughs> they don't know the They're cost looking man. outside in you know it's not fun when you have to go bury your friend or when you have to go bury your brother or when you have to go bury like no, people so you true. love you feel me yeah, it's not yeah, worth yeah. it man it's not like it's not worth it at the end of the day right yeah man yeah man yo man thank you man thank you you know what i'm saying um we, we we've been even taking these answers that we've gotten from guests like and we've done we've asked this dozens of times now you know what i mean so we're to the point where we've been able to make compilation videos like we're on part two of the different answers that we've gotten from people and hopefully it'll be something that will help to make a difference you know what i'm exactly. saying um what do you got coming up next like you say you got a bunch of songs so yeah I, I was thinking um i was gonna drop a tape but 
I'm thinking to just keep doing my solo, like keep dropping solos for now, right? Okay. Probably gonna drop another two solos and then and then go to, and then work on a tape, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get my fan base to grow, people to listen to me, you know. Once yeah. that starts happening, then we'll start working on tapes and stuff like that too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last question. That was supposed to be my last question, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, any more? No, no, go, go, go. Social media strategy. Are you like really? Are you a social media guy? Not really, to be honest. You feel me? Like yeah. I'm still using. I'm still using Freedom Mobile. My data doesn't even run properly. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm also like I have other things to do. I'm I'm not only a rapper. I have real life shit going on too, right? Yeah. I only rap like I'm in the studio. Like say like once a week, twice a week, twice a week. If I'm like super trying to get shit done, you know, in the mm -hmm. studio. But um, which is a yeah, pretty good still. exactly. But yeah. I try keeping up to I, I try keeping up to date with all that social media shit, right? Because mm -hmm. when you're a rapper, you have to reach, connect with people, reach out to people. People have to reach out to you, you Facts know, like make shit, available. Shit, yeah, you gotta make yourself available, right? Yeah, 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 man. Road running the motherfucking building, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And El Nino in the motherfucking building. Okay. Yo, great conversation. <coughs> um, I want to hold y'all for a minute. We got something called smoke mirrors. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have a break.